Hickok 45 here with the old iron frame Henry. You should have seen it before. We've done two or three videos with this beautiful firearm, right? Now, I guess I'll tell you, it's a reproduction, okay? <laughs> Made by the Re Henry Repeating Arms Company, okay? Uh, so it's only, whatever, 10 years old or something. Uh, but John and I have seen one of these. There are not many iron frame Henry still in existence. There's a handful, 10 or 11 or 15 of these things that anybody even knows about. We saw one at, uh, that was in uh, Las Vegas at the Antique Arms Show, I guess, for 200,000 it was selling for. So that's why you see reproductions of firearms like this, okay? But then again, I might try to sell this someday and pass it off as an original. That'd be worth what? At least a million, right? <laughs> if it were. All right, so let me shut up and shoot. Okay, small game hunt. Glad you're here. And uh, I haven't shot this thing much. I'm ashamed to admit. So we'll start with a big old ram. Boom. All right. 4440, if I didn't say that, and I didn't. Yeah. I'd be tough if all it was was rams to shoot, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what, I, I'm not seeing these things very well. I've got a good excuse. <laughs> At least good enough for me. Probably not good enough for you all. Well, now I got leaves in the way. There we go. All right. Maybe I should quit and go home. I will have to reload whether I miss or not. Okay. I know y'all wanted to see this thing being uh, reloaded anyway. All right, piggies. Now a little more test on elevation. Should be running out pretty soon. Thing's kind of heavy, barrel heavy. Yeah, oops, empty, see that? You wanna make sure it's empty, of course, because you're, uh, you're messing around up here. All right, pull this back out. If you've not seen this before, why haven't you? You must be new, because we have several videos with the old Henry's. I uh, have my special ammo pouch in my uh, pocket here. 4440. Nice round, not very powerful. You know, basically a pistol round, right? Of course, you get a little more velocity out of it from a rifle like this. And if you want to see one a little closer, that's a 4440. It looks very much like a 45 Colt, doesn't it? Uh, in fact, it, it is one of the cartridges as brilliant as I am. And as much of a genius as I am, as you know I am, you would agree with me, right? <laughs> I, I really have to, I can't tell by just glancing at them. You'd think as much as I shoot that I could pull that out of my pocket and know right away what it is. They, uh, they really do uh, look similar to a 45 at first glance, maybe even second glance. Not quite as powerful generally as a 45 Colt. I guess I'll load up all the way and uh, yeah, if I don't need them, yeah, shoot them anyway. All right. All right. I got one more pig before I start my missing adventures with the uh, chickens. I barely see those little chicks. All right, got one, I guess. Okay. Hope you all are seeing them better than I am. So. Kind of disappear in the sights. I get them all? 
think I did, didn't I? Well, I got a couple more rounds in here. Maybe I'll let John shoot those and I'll just leave the uh, action open. But yeah, this is a really cool rifle and I'm, I'm just glad you came and uh, enjoyed it with me on this really nice day. And look at the blowing on that thing. Is, is that a beauty? This firearm is just uh, essentially too pretty for me to be uh, messing with. I'll tell you what, nice, nice, nice. So anyway, uh, that's our small game hunt. We got some small game for dinner and breakfast tomorrow and maybe even lunch. So we're happy. Life is good.